Hello my cleaning fellows and welcome to see behind the scenes of how all this cleaning actually happens. There are so many things that the camera doesn't capture. And in this video I'll reveal them all. Hello, here I come with my luxury car filled with cleaning stuff. Here first is my pack pack with all my cameras. Here's a suitcase which is full of cleaning products and tools. My car is full of products, plants, snow shovel, <laughs> blankets and pillows, boxes, everything. This package contains two large lights because some people don't even have ceiling lights. Pillows and blankets, some products, papers, sheets, let's see, flowers, everything you might need in kitchen. Some towels, there's trash bags and my kettle. I drink a lot of tea, like every day. <laughs> tea bags, <laughs> oh my god. I live on tea. <laughs> here's some storage boxes. And here's my ski bag with all the extension poles, tripods. I have two cameras and two phones. This is for lights and squeegee and flat mob and so on. Before I start, I put my work on mode on. Let's go. Okay, here we go. First of all, I don't want to complain, but one of the most unpleasant things is dragging all the filming equipment and cleaning tools into the apartment. Fortunately, there is an elevator here, but often there isn't any. And carrying all the stuff can be so time consuming. And my bags and suitcases are quite heavy. And often I'm doing this by myself, so I have to go up and down multiple times. Okay, I had to make sure my kettle is here. Let's take that with us and let's see the apartment. Woohoo! <laughs> First, I'll try to turn the lights on. And they work! Great! <laughs> That's not always the case. I was in this apartment yesterday when I picked up the key, so this isn't my very first time here. I always try to find a relatively clean spot to set down my backpack, and then I go through the entire apartment and try to find good stains. <laughs> I check every room, and here we have a balcony, so... I already know that I'm going to bring here all the clothes and extra stuff. Let's see... The bathroom... Oh, there's a light too, that's great. There's some used pads and stuff. Yep. And... Oh, too clean. The first round is like hunting all the stains. It's like stain hunting for me. <laughs> I just I just try to find something. Okay, time to make some tea. <laughs> Call me crazy or something, but yes. I can make my tea everywhere. Okay, maybe not everywhere, but this house, it's quite clean, so it's okay. Time to set my lights. So the cleaning starts with this. Sometimes it's really hard to find a spot for the lights because there's so much trash. But here we are all good. Now let's grab some tea. Tea time. I have my teas in my purse. These are important. And now the water is ready. Steaming hot. I love it. If you want to make me happy, just bring me some stains and tea and I'm happy. Now guys, it's time to take the before photos and move the lights around. Guys, sometimes there's so much trashes that I almost trip and the lights almost topple over. But now we are good. Hello kitty catty. Hi, this is Honey. 
Okay, here's my backpack. So there's two cameras, tape, two phones, charger, so many power packs, some tea, of course. Uh, this is camera cleaning kit. Woohoo! Yeah. GoPro, more tape, chargers, and my tripods. Now we have to set all the cameras. So at first when I started doing this, I was so ready to clean, like right away. But now I've learned that it's worth to film everything, like carefully at first. Here I'm taping my power bank so my phone don't die. <laughs> I'm having some difficulties. But yeah, at first I didn't have the patience to do this, but now I've learned that if I do this carefully, I can show you everything. Then I'm filming and having my tea. Before videos and pictures takes about an hour, it depends what size the house is. And I use one camera to take videos from a distance and another for close-ups. Then I take snapshot videos and photos with my phone and move on on to the next room. And then I have to move all the lights and try to film it like you can't see the lights there. So yeah, this show usually takes a while. But like I said, before I started filming anything, all of this was just in my eyes. But now, the better I film, the better you guys get to see how wonderful cleaning is. And I always hope to find delightful surprises like this, so that you can get into the mood as well. At this point, I usually post my Instagram that today is cleaning day. I usually post some stories and then the actual video will come later. Then I'll try to get to know the pets, see if they're doing well and make sure they have food and clean water. Oh, honey is so scared of me. Besides cleaning, I have to move my lights often. Like, <laughs> I mean, um, I'm cleaning, drinking tea and moving my lights and cameras. That's it. The same process is done for every room. Now we have filmed the bedroom and now the living room, then the kitchen and lastly the bathroom. I'm gonna show you this real quickly so we can move on, but this is the boring side of my job. <laughs> But before we can start cleaning, we have to take the thumbnail for the video. So here I'm using an app called LensBuddy. It takes automatically photos. So I place my phone here and get into some position in the midst of the trashes. For the picture, I'm wearing some gloves. And by the way, in this apartment, you can choose throw trashes on the floor. Sometimes people who came to help me for the first time, if they have a tissue or gum, they start searching the trash bins. I just tell them to throw it on the floor. It may feel strange and wrong at first, but I mean that whole floor is full of trash, so it doesn't matter. Okay, let's take the thumbnail. It's fun because I can play in the midst of the trashes and make this situation a bit more enjoyable and lighthearted. Okay, time to clean. Woohoo! This, this is the best part. This is the best part. So I usually start from the hallway or entrance. That way I can more easily carry all the trashes out. And I have three different kinds of garbage bags. The white bags are for special waste like paper and cardboard. I usually put clothes or other items that need to be visible in transparent clear bags. 
and the black bags are for mixed waste. I don't want to put anything else in the black bags to avoid accidentally mixing them with mixed waste. I try to recycle as much as I can, but sometimes cardboards and trash are so crushed and mashed together that it all ends up in mixed waste. I always listen to some good audiobooks or podcasts. I've listened to Harry Potter's a million times, I swear. <laughs> and I usually listen to Crime Chunky on Spotify. Okay, next, the bathroom. I've cleared out all the trashes and now it's time to tackle the sink. Usually after the entrance, I move straight to the bathroom or toilet because well, I often have to use the bathroom, you know. <laughs> it would probably help if I didn't drink so much tea. So this is kind of a problem because I want to use the bathroom, but usually the bathrooms are so dirty that mm, you maybe don't want to use them. But after it is clean, I don't mind at all. Guys, quick announcement. I'm moving to Florida in December and looking for dirty homes to clean there. The cleaning is done for free, of course, and anonymously. If you need help or know someone who needs help, please send pictures of the home to this email address. The email is also in the video's description. Next, let's move on to the living room. Yay! More tea, guys! And then I have to set up my GoPro. Yes. I can watch it from my phone screen, so I think it looks good. Okay, guys, it's 12 o'clock now, and it's time to go for a lunch. I'm going with my friend Ria, who has helped me with a few of these cleaning shoes. Like today, Ria has also taken some pretty awesome pictures of me. I can share them here. Nowadays, I have my own company, so I'm paying Ria's and my lunch. I also, if I have to buy something, for example, bed sheets, sheets, flowers, anything, I just use my company's credit card. Because I have lovely sponsors, Cine Cleaning and Scrub Daddy, who pays me monthly. Next is the living room. First, I decide which way I'm going to clean and which area to focus on. Then I set up the camera. I always have to clean in the right direction and one area at a time. Normally people, for example, pick up trash from chairs, the table and the floor, but the camera only shows a specific area. So I can't pick up trash from all over the place at the same time, if you know what I mean. It also matters where to start the cleaning, where to put the trash bag, the direction to proceed, and so on. In the beginning, I made a lot of mistakes. It doesn't look nice if I pick up a little from the chair and then from the floor. Areas need to be emptied one by one. In the beginning, I cleaned too quickly, so I forgot to move the cameras to a new spot, and then it wasn't captured on the camera. Sometimes I forgot to turn the camera on, which is so annoying. <laughs> oh, it is so frustrating. Sometimes the camera turns off on its own, and sometimes the cameras tip over and have been broken multiple times. Let me just tell you, like, oof. I do have insurance for the cameras, but usually the repairs takes a month. And I need a new camera for the next week because I'm cleaning every week. So I've had to buy a new one and wait for the old one to be repaired. Now I have cameras in stock. <laughs> now it's time to take out the trashes. Usually there are dozens of bags, so it takes quite a bit of time to carry them down. 
It depends on how far the bins are located outside. Here, luckily, the bins are very close. Just right down and up in the elevator. <laughs> Look at that elevator! Oh my gosh, it's so cool! <laughs> See you soon, guys! Okay, now let's do... Okay, here are the bins. Like I said, I try to recycle as much as I can. So there's mixed waste, cardboard, papers, and basically that's it. But the cardboard is full! So I took all the cardboard in my car. Because there was like... End of the day... I mean, 10 bags of cardboard. These were just first ones. So my car was full of cardboard. <laughs> Sometimes if the trash bins are full, I have to leave the trash inside. Next, the kitchen. So now we have cleaned the entrance. It's empty from trash. Then bathroom is cleaned. Now I have to charge my camera's batteries. Uh, and then the living room is empty, so now we are working on the kitchen. So typically I try to clear all the rooms of trashes, clean at least the toilet, and once the trashes are gone, usually around 1 p.m., I move on to the kitchen to clean surfaces. But now I had to, like I said, change my camera's battery and now it's working again. So all my belongings just lay in midst of trash and clutter and stains, but I don't mind. Like all my clothes and everything are just covered in dirt after the cleaning. But basically that's life. <laughs> that's my life. Okay, after I have taken all the trashes out from the kitchen, I always start cleaning the sink. I know it's a wrong way, but let me explain. The most logical thing would be to clean the sink last, because it gets dirty all the time while cleaning. At first I used to do that initially, but I noticed that if I pour water and detergents in it, it rinses off some of the dirt. And that's terrible! That's why the sink needs to be cleaned right after the trash, as it's the dirtiest at that point. So I clean the sink and it gets dirty again right away, but I don't mind at all. <laughs> now I'm filming it with my two phones and one camera. So I can change the angles. Let me show you. Here's how I film things like cabinet organization. First, I take some before pictures with my phone and with my cameras. I open and close the door so it looks nice for editing. Then I empty the cabinet, then I wash it, clean it and lastly organize it. Sometimes there is so much stuff that I organize the cabinet neatly and end the recording and then I add more stuff to it. Of course, I'd rather throw the items away, but of course, I wouldn't do that to other people's belongings. The end result looks like this. Here, one thing that slows down cleaning a lot. Usually, without filming, I clean by I start cleaning by spraying the cleaning product on all the surface that need washing. Then I drop it and let it sit there. But now that I'm filming everything, I have to do one area at a time. It slows down the cleaning process, but 
it's not otherwise dangerous on anything. <laughs> if you want a good end result, you can't move the cameras in the middle of it. So for example here, I sprayed the product, I turned the camera off, then I post something on my Instagram and then I continued. Of course, usually I'm doing something else that doesn't need to be filmed, like I clean walls, doors, I take the trashes out, you name it. Now when I have cleaned all the surfaces, it's time to wash the floor. And I wash it like room by room, so I'm not washing all the uh, floors at the same times. That would be convenient, but it would be so hard to film. So I have to, I have to do everything area by area. And now I have a few really exciting news to tell you. First of all, some of you may remember that I told you about my book. Well, guess what? Now the book is ready! Woohoo! <laughs> and it will be coming out this December. Just perfectly in time for Christmas. I know, right? Exciting! <laughs> In the book, I tell my story on how I became the world's best cleaner. I also talk about my childhood and how I overcame depression and became the life-loving person I am today. And of course, it would not be an Auri Katarina's book without some of my amazing cleaning tips. The other thing I wanted to tell you is that we are also in the middle of designing an Aure Katarina plush toy. <laughs> oh my gosh, how funny is that? So if you have ever wanted your very own Aure Katarina, I know you have, this is the moment you have been waiting for. Join the email list in the description to get notified when the plush toy is available for purchase. Then I always try to think ways to show you how much trash and clutter and everything there is. So one thing how I can really show you is by like lifting up the sofas or beds or anything that reveals how much trash is there. Usually at this point the bathroom is done and the kitchen is at least halfway done. But in this case the kitchen is almost done completely. This is how it looks now and I can't find honey. Honey is hiding somewhere, I don't know guys. But let me show you what I have in my suitcase. There's all my secrets. Here we go. Well, I have so many different kinds of microfiber clothes, big ones, small ones, scenes, kitchen, bathroom, window. Then I have my toolbox, dusting sword, duster, scrub daddies, gloves, brushes, power paste. Steel daddies. <laughs> I have like everything that I might need in here. I have everything here. Okay, my 500th time taking out the trashes. <laughs> I find taking out the trashes fun, but I might have carried them a bit too much because my shoulder sometimes hurts. Uh, on the other hand, a year ago I was eating poorly and lost a lot of weight. Now I focused on eating better and it has certainly helped my back and shoulders. Now let's take all the cardboards to these containers. There goes some plastic. Now we have left with this entrance floor. Usually I don't film things like this because it's it's boring to watch if I film every floor, if you know what I mean. It's just the same floor, but still I have to clean it, of course. Okay, so I've already bought some kitchen supplies for the tenant, so let's go ahead and put them in place. This is what it looks like when I'm taking after videos. 
so the kitchen is clean, but all the other rooms are still a bit of a mess. And for example, I haven't washed the living room floor and so on. I always clean one room at a time to complete and film it. Then I move items in there and film the next room and so on. I can't clean the entire apartment at once because all my stuff would need to be taken outside first and so on. Oh, so much work. No, <laughs> I can't do that. So it's easier to do one room at a time. Then this resident had some kitchen tools in her bathroom. So I'm moving them here. There was some mugs, dishes, everything like that. So I just have to leave them here. Now it's time to clean the living room floor. Really quickly. <laughs> First, I'll gather all the dresses from the floor. Then I put some water and dish soap and mop the floor or wash the floor <laughs> with flat mop. Now I'm going to take all the dirty clothes out on the balcony in these bags. Now the home is kind of done. Voila! Uh, now I have to pack my stuff, I'm cleaning it, I'm wiping everything, putting them back. Yeah, this, this takes an hour maybe or something, but I have a lot of stuff, if you remember. <laughs> so I have to carry them out. I also leave some papers, important papers here. Sometimes I hide them when I take after pictures I hide a lot of stuff but now I'm putting them back yeah all right guys what do you think is there anything else on your mind if so feel free to ask in the comments I love you all bye bye